Hi, I am going to make a bold statement. I am absolutely certain that there are at least two books in the National Library with the same number of pages. Now, why am I so sure? Before we get to that, let us consider a simple puzzle. On the table, I have three blue balls, three green balls, and three red balls. Here I have with me a lucky draw box which I have prepared beforehand. I'm going to place all these balls into the lucky draw box. Now, without looking into the box, that will be cheating of course. How many balls must I pick up at least so that I am guaranteed to have at least two balls of the same matching colour? Now let's try with two balls. Oops, red and green. It's not my lucky day after all. Now before we move on, pause the video and think about this problem. Welcome back. I hope you have fun with the problem. Now it turns out that this problem can be solved by what is known as the pigeonhole principle. Now the pigeonhole principle states that if four pigeons were to go into three pigeon holes, then at least one pigeon hole must contain more than one pigeon. Now let me write that down on the board for you. The pigeon hole principle. If four pigeons were to go into three pigeon holes, then one of the pigeon holes must contain more than one pigeon. Like so. Now, I can also illustrate this principle with a simple setup. And I have four balls with me. Now, let me try putting these four balls into the three glasses. One green ball, one red ball, and then one blue ball. Now, what happens to the last green ball? It has no place to go but to go back into one of the three glasses. And it turns out, as predicted by the principle, one of the glasses would have more than one ball. Now, let us return to the problem. To solve this problem, we will need to consider the worst possible case scenario. Now, suppose that this is really my unlucky day. I happen to pick one red ball. The next ball I choose is a green ball. And the next ball I choose, ah, yet yeah, unlucky as well, is the blue ball. Now, what happens next? The next ball that I choose must be one, must be matching one of the previously picked up balls. For instance, green ball, like just now what we have done with the glasses. And so, there we have it. The answer to our problem is simply 4. Now, can you all tell me why I can be so sure now that there will be at least two books in the National Library with the same number of pages?